What up world, it's Carmella Kingdom Tech, and today we have a special episode. We are checking out the Towers of Power, the Definitive Technology BP9080X Full Range Bipolar Speakers. So let's get into it. First, a little background and some history. Definitive Technology has been making speakers for around 30 years. In that time, the Fit Technology, or Def Tech for short, has perfected one major thing. That one major thing being bipolar speakers. Now bipolar speakers are different than normal speakers, being that they have two sets of drivers that are in phase, facing two different directions. Now what that does is create a wider and more dynamic sound stage. So today I will be giving you my thoughts on living with the current flagship models, the BP9080X, for over a year and see if they're the right speaker choice for you. We'll be checking out all the ins and outs, so without further ado, let's do this. Okay, so now for a little closer look. So they're 51 inches high. They're not very wide, they're only seven inches. This is the side profile right here. They are deep. They do go back kind of far, 16 inches and you do have to give them space between your wall. We'll speak a little bit about that later. Okay, here's the lower back panel. You got your high channel input, your driver input. You also got your control for your bass. You got your LFE input. You got your power source input. And you got your voltage control. The knob is intelligent bass control. It also controls the levels of the other drivers so you don't just drown out your source with bass. So you can make adjustments accordingly with that knob. The speaker comes fully wrapped with an aluminum end cap. So let's take a look at the inside. The speakers come fully wrapped in the premium black speaker fabric finish. Starting from the top down, you have the Dolby Atmos height channel. It has a one inch aluminum dome tweeter with a four and a half inch driver. The main front drivers, you have two five and a quarter inch drivers with a one inch aluminum dome tweeter. Below that is the 12 inch subwoofer with two 12 inch bass radiators and a class D amplifier to power them. These speakers produce some serious low end. Now what makes them bipolar is the rear set of drivers facing the opposite direction. You have a one inch dome tweeter and a five and a quarter inch driver which will produce sound that will reflect off the walls which will create a giant wide soundstage. The height channels are in the top aluminum end cap. They come with magnetic speaker rolls that pop on and pop off just like that. The height channels are a good complement to in-ceiling speakers or if you don't have them they produce a decent Atmos effect. So if you can't put speakers in your ceiling, or if you live in a small apartment, you can still enjoy that Atmos DTSX goodness. Now for the main question, how do they actually sound and perform? Well, they do check all the boxes for me. Unlike normal speakers, they produce serious low end without having external subs. I have two monster subs, but I'm kind of crazy like that because I love bass. If you never heard bipolar speakers, they produce a different sound that's wider and reflecting off of surfaces so you get a more immersive effect, whether it be watching movies or listening to music. Once I tried this set, I was hooked. I don't think I could go back to regular front firing speakers. I've had many sets of speakers and the sound that these produce is clear, wide, and heavy. I wish I could demo them for you, but the sound on YouTube won't do these speakers, or any speakers for that matter, any justice. So. You're just going to have to check them out for yourself in the store or in the demo room somewhere in your area. Plus, I don't want to get caught up in any copyright issues trying to demo these speakers when they get me flagged. So, is it all unicorns and rainbows? Not quite. These speakers are for everyone, but not everyone is for these speakers. Let's get into some of the things that might keep you from getting these. First, they require their own power source. This is a deal breaker for some because if you have these in the center channel like me, that's three extra outlets that you need. Next, they require at least six to eight inches clearance from the wall, 
so that the rear drivers can reflect sound properly. So if you don't have a lot of space, this can be a problem. I have mine set up at about eight inches from the wall and sitting at about a 45 degree angle and that does the job just fine. So the biggest and most important factor, of course, is the price. Of course, these speakers aren't budget at all, coming in anywhere between $13.99 and $17.99 as of the making of this video. So to give you an idea of the cost, you're looking at these two towers plus a center channel, that's around 5 Gs, and we haven't even factored in the surrounds or other speakers. So if you have the bread, I can't recommend these speakers enough. I will be doing videos in the future on more affordable speakers, so stay tuned for them. Let me know in the comments what you think of these speakers and if you have them. I will be leaving links in the description below if you want to check these speakers out. That will also help support the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until the next time y'all, peace and don't sleep.